Leon Apotikivarnog, CS Doc. Hello ladies and gentlemen and thank you for joining me. On this lovely winter's day we've come to Lake Balaton. Now you may remember back in the summer we made another video at Lake Balaton where I went swimming in the lake. Well that was on the southern shore, approximately eight miles in that direction. Well today I've come to the northern shore town of Balaton and we're going to have a little wander around. It's a really lovely town. It's very nice and sunny, although it's it's cold, but it is very sunny. Now this, in the summer, there'll be boats waiting to take you from here to other parts of the lake. I believe there's even possibly a paddle steamer. But if anyone knows about that, then please come and tell me. But there's various boats that would leave from here and take you across the lake. And it's, it's really pleasant here. It's just so calm the lake. It's very quiet because it's a tourist town and we are here in the off season. And I think there's something quite nice about coming to tourist towns in the off season because you kind of get the place all to yourself. It really is just me and the ducks here today. So um, let's go and have a look over there. You can see the marinas over there. There's a lot of warheads. I saw a couple of swans about earlier. Um, there's a funny sort of noise I keep hearing. I don't know if the camera's picking it out. But that noise is this big lumps of ice just kind of drifting and hitting the sides of the shore. See ya, man. Ducks didn't want to be on camera. So let's, um, they've jumped into the cold water rather them than me. Um, let's go and have a look around. So that way, looking up like that way, the northern shore, the lake continues for a good 25 miles in that direction and probably about five miles in that direction to Castace. It's about 40 miles long, it's eight miles wide. There's the Tihan Peninsula, which is also somewhere we should go in the future. It's a peninsula that sticks right out onto the Balaton and there's a monastery on the hill. So that is a really nice place. So um, that, that should be a hero's adventures of the future. What I'm doing now, I'm taking you kind of back onto the shore off this man-made um, peninsula. And we're just gonna go and have a look around the town now there isn't a lot going on because it is the off season so you know it's um completely different but like i say it's got this kind of sense of having the place to yourself so i do recommend coming here i think though if you were going to come as a tourist you really want to come in the summer it'd be completely different in the summer there'd be people everywhere you know it would be just a completely different place um, so if you come here come in the summer it's a really nice place to have an alternate summer holiday and um, if you come here winter then of course it's really pleasant but it's a bit of a ghost town but you know I don't necessarily consider that a bad thing so here I think you'd possibly buy your boat tickets if you were to cross the lake by the boat now as we come to here just up here the railway we'll go and have a look at that in a minute one thing I want to show you is a Hungarian beach where you would have seen one if you've seen the video where I went swimming on the southern shore. It's just, see where that fence is behind there? That is a typical Hungarian beach. Now quite often you have to pay to go into the beaches. Oh, and there's a nightclub up there. It's not open, so I won't be going from there tonight. Um, you pay to go onto Hungarian beaches, which might seem a bit strange, but then once you're on them, you know, you're kind of pretty safe to spend all day there. And you know, you can go and get a drink, go and get lunch. So the Hungarian beach is just there. So if in the summer, there'd be loads of people sunbathing there. There'd be little steps into the water for you to go swimming. It would be, you know, completely different. I'm now gonna take you this way. This looks like this would be a bar in the summer, which is currently open. Um, so um, in the bar, in the summer, there'll be people serving from the bar here. So let's now go and have a wander across the road. We'll go and have a look at the town centre. So if we walk up here, this is the main road which runs along the northern shore. But again, there's not many people really here in this whole area, and the railway station. Is, is just over there. So we're going to have a look at that. I'm not expecting a train to come just yet. Um, 
So all this area here, there'd be like little stalls selling souvenirs and stuff. They've got these sort of barriers here to stop you running into the road and the railway. So there's an Arboretum, but it's four kilometres away. On the Arboretum, that sounds exciting. Haven't really got time to go there today. If you notice, it says Badacholny Strand. Well, Strand is the Hungarian word for beach. So it's just over there. So that's the way you go through to get onto the beach. So crossing this very quiet road. And here's the railway station. So that way is looking towards the Polza. And you've got this rather ornate set of barriers to stop you running onto the railway line. And that way is looking towards Budapest. Lovely little station building. And um, there's not a train due just yet, although my plan is to catch a train from here in the opposite direction to Budapest, head back that way to Keste. So there we have the station building. We've got a very long platform because in the summer you'll get loco hauled trains of 10, 10 or more carriages pulled by, usually pulled by um, M41s, but M62s make an appearance, even M61s make occasional appearances so that, that's always exciting so as we come this way now we're coming into the center and as i said it is a bit of a ghost town but that is only in the winter it's not going to be like this all year round if you came here in the summer you know there'd be people buying food from all these little cafes these souvenir shops there'd be pubs there'd be tables here there'd be people sitting all along here eating food it would be completely different so um don't be put off by the fact you look that i'm effectively walking around a ghost town it's only a ghost town in winter you can see all the tables stacked up they'd all be there and everyone be just sitting there enjoying themselves and it really is worth coming to lake balaton in the summer i come here most summers and i always enjoy it it's, it's a great place to be so i'm gonna now wander up I'd love to go up the big hill because there's a lookout tower on the top, but I'm not going to do that today. Maybe in the summer. So let's just go up here. And I've pretty much shown you um, Badachon in winter and what it's like to come to Lake Badachon in winter. The other interesting thing, there's a lot of construction work going on everywhere you look. There's men on ladders, you know, up on roofs, or there's diggers everywhere. This time of year, the, pe the main people that are here are people that are refurbishing, you know, doing construction there. They're getting the place ready for the summer. So that's what really happens at Balaton in the winter. All the construction people are here and, um, you know, they're decorating the shops and just getting ready for another season, really. So from Badachon, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, you know, if you want a different sort of holiday, do think about coming to Lake Balaton. So thank you very much for watching. Please. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, etc. From the winemaking region of Badachon, goodbye. This on Latasha.